Welcome back to Power Drift. This is Know Your Shift, and today we'll be talking about electric vehicles. Now you might have noticed we're talking more and more about EVs nowadays. It reflects the industry's new trajectory. Uh, 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 uh. Trajectory. Ninja is talking about trajectory. Trajectory of what, by the way? Of taking the fun away from riding one feature at a time, huh? Oh, this guy is taking it to the heart, huh? <laughs> Shifting to new experiences isn't always easy, and it's not just automotive in general life as well. Okay, looks like Mr. Varun Painter has chosen to be anti EV today. So, uh, and this is not even trying to hide it either. Wait, 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 wait! I am not entirely anti EV. I just wish they were better in some places. I know one thing for sure: they have the potential to become fun riding machines in the near future. Sure, fun riding machines. Mm. Yeah, I like the sound of that, and I'll give you that. But uh, you know the duration between the first car ever made and the first car to set a world speed record? Come on. Don't talk to me about cars. Why am I even thinking? Don't talk to me about cars. All right, fine. Uh, just, just, just this. No more cars after this question. Just, just. Um, like I said, no cars. Okay, I'm, I'm not surprised. Fifty-two years. I know it is uh, unfathomable for your tiny attention span. Yet progress takes time, right? The Indian industry has seen a few blips in the EV radar once in uh, 1980 and again in 2001 but it's only in the past 15 years that EV development and adoption has actually and really kicked off. Uh you're absolutely right but do you then remember which company came online in the year 2008? Sat crore ka sawal. Pum pum. <laughs> <laughs> Of, of course, like who am I kidding? I, I do. It is Ampere EV. They've been quietly making uh, strides in the electric vehicle industry all this time, and now they're making themselves heard through bold moves like sponsoring RCB yeah. and showcasing at the Auto Expo. Yeah, Royal Challengers Bank. Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. didn't know what RCB is? <laughs> who doesn't know what RCB is? Anyway, yeah. the keyword here is quiet. Yeah. It's, it's been a proud tradition to find fault with something before even. Understanding it, and that's weird. And that is the showcase perfectly by Mr. Varun Painter, who will see you later here with his dislike for EVs. But again, how many faults in Ampere can you list? Come on. Hey, don't listen to me, okay? I just said EVs are a lot of fun. Looks like you have a short attention span. <laughs> Yes, exactly, uh, exactly. The uh, noise these days across the country urges people to stay away from EVs. But do you know the reasons that actually led to this? Yes, I do know the reasons. Now, there are always those who will resist change, especially a big one like sustainable mobility. Sustainable mobility, like big words. In part, yes, the history of EVs in India is convoluted to say the least. Yeah, let us unravel it for you. So. Let's take you back in time. It all began with the government declaring an incentive scheme for EV manufacturing in 2010. And that got withdrawn in 2012, which is two years later, yeah. and that actually caused a drop in EV sales, almost 70 percent. It was a massive drop. Not many knew it at the time, but it was being replaced with a much more comprehensive action plan called National Electric Mobility Mission Plan 2020. It's a mouthful, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Uh, for sure. Now you must have heard of Fame and Fame to subsidies. Now they were designed to incentivize EV purchases. Fame, by the way, for people who do not know, stands for Faster Adoption and Manufacturing of Electric as well as Hybrid Vehicles in India. It was launched in 2015, and then it slowly progressed to Fame 2, which came in 2019. Fame wouldn't exist without the handful of players in the Indian EV industry like Ampere EV and RECC. It also birthed the new wave of EV makers across the country. While it also opened the doors for opportunistic yeah. pseudo manufacturers to pass off questionable products to try and avail the subsidy benefits. EVs 100% designed and manufactured in India had to take the brunt too. However, those trying to take the short path to success will find themselves staring uh, at a wall. Short sightedness costs the world a lot, no? It would surely cost EV buyers more than before. It's not the same for Ampere EV, obviously. Uh, their claim to responsible manufacturing should steer them clear of such controversies, steadily building a reputation for simple, practical, and reliable scooters. Let me be honest. I've actually heard that Ampere as a brand is doing really well. 
You are right, sir. Uh, they already have more than 400 dealerships across India, all of them wholly owned by entrepreneurs themselves. So it's not just electric mobility that Ampere is bringing, but also boosting MSMEs. If you don't know what that is, Google Karlo. Think about it. 400 <laughs> are up and running already. 400, 400, na noor. Entering and leading a whole new industry isn't done in a decade. Or even two, like yep. it's unheard of. Look at it as a sprint that can earn you a quick buck and you'll quickly be left behind by the players who have invested the time. We know we're talking about. Resources and indigenous solutioning for any obstacle presented by the EV industry. One thing's for sure. EVs are here to stay. You cannot deny that. That's why it's important to look at the bigger picture instead of running after short-term gains. Uh, I... The body is too far Exactly. So, I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> it is, as they say, you know, it is not a sprint. It is a marathon. Ampere EV, for instance, has seen all the ups and downs of the EV curve in India. Yet, it stands strong with a decent lineup of scooters. Ups and down. So you want to elaborate it for the audience here, Mr. Holy Shift, Mr. Holy Shift. You had to use that keyword. No, no, everybody is going to be like, no, 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 no. when is season 2 coming? When is four years going to season 2? Anyway, it starts with identifying a gap and filling it with a compelling solution. This has led to the company marketing three different scooters. Zeal EX uh, for the young riders. Magnus EX to be used by families. Yeah, you in the future. <laughs> And then you have Primus, which you can also use because that is harping on a lot of performance. It focuses on performance. There's also a new scooter coming in, by the way. The one that we saw at the Auto Expo this year, for people who remember Auto Expo. Now, it was right next to the car brands. And if I'm not wrong, Ampere Heavy had the biggest stall in terms of a single brand. The what biggest stall, the Expo. Two-wheeler stall. Wait, 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 Two-wheeler uh, stall. Let up, me correct up. that. Two-wheeler stall. Hold up. What was this guy doing at the car section? Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> Then comes ownership and financing. EV makers like Ampere offer a range of strategies to meet market demands. More than 10 financing options, ridiculous down payment. By the way, down payment is just 1 rupee. 1 rupee. I'm going to to Anyway, uh, low interest rates and EV Fin, part of Greaves' own ecosystem to ease EV scooter financing. You can find a link in the description below. Uh, okay, everything said and done, you still haven't answered. What sets Ampere EV apart from the other players? What because, uh, okay, let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> right now? <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because looking at the social and physical presence in the form of dealerships, sponsorships, marketing, you can sense the companies focused on brand building rather than fighting legislation. Which is the right thing to do, right? Yeah, but EVs are still more expensive than before and Anything? manufacturing them. Manufacturing them is still a big question mark. Not in the case of companies like Ampere, they're backed up by Greaves. The two of us, and even those who are watching, have seen the name Greaves on a lot of the engineering equipment and commercial vehicles we've seen out there are powered by Greaves, whose legacy stretches back, all the way back to 164 years. 164 years? That's a long, long time ago. Okay. That's but how long it'll take for season 2 of Polish to come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what about the naysayers? Those against EVs surely must have something to base their opinions on, right? And it's not like EVs have had a squeaky clean record of reliability and usage. It's all out there. News, social media, it's all there. And that's the noise I was talking about. In condemning EVs at the first sight of a mishap, they neglect to look at data. It's a nascent industry and there's a lot of learning happening on the go, right? for both the consumer and the brands. And EV companies are taking the right step to address this noise. And it's not like the ICE industry has had a clean record either. Occasional recalls and uh, you know defects are not uncommon. Exactly. It's not just one brand. There are multiple manufacturers who are now owning up, sharing data, and they're trying to remove any and all misgivings about electric vehicles, which I think is a really good approach. Because then we can have a lot more fun EVs to choose from. All the technology to use, the superb ride, and especially the acceleration right from the moment you twist the throttle. It's a really new way, a really good way to enjoy riding. See, I cannot agree more with that uh, uh, logic. Instant talk. Yeah, because what happened to... Uh, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. What happened to petrol is life. 
let me make things clear as long as i am having fun riding a two wheeler i couldn't care less how it makes its power and the way evs are performing today it is promising you have power you have ride you have handling that package when it's put together it's really really promising every day running costs the ev that you own will not be heavy on your pocket the charging your vehicle to fueling up your vehicle comparison tips positively in the favor of the former today and in time with the entire infrastructure getting better with more charging points the future looks bright and promising spoken like a true comrade of the pd army and right. with that we will throw it back to you guys what are your thoughts on this pd army let us know by dropping a comment in the comment section below and thank you for watching know your shift featuring ampere ev ampere ev